Wow, this is going to be a good one today. Love as defined by God. Welcome once again. In this session, we are going to be reading Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 21. Let's get right into it. Let love be without hypocrisy, without hypocrisy here. And you know, so many people today, they are, you know, proclaiming love and they fall in the category, at least they put themselves in the category of love, but there's so much hypocrisy there. It's like they preach love, they preach acceptance, they preach tolerance, but you try just saying anything against them. Oh my, I'm telling you, then you really feel the love. Then you really see what the tolerance is all about. Then you really see what unconditional acceptance is all about, at least in their mind. It's all hypocrisy, okay? There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people today, you know, they consider themselves to be lovers. Oh, but when someone goes out on the street with a sign telling them that their particular lifestyle is not the best lifestyle to say the least, they get so offended and boy, do they show their love and they show what unconditional acceptance really means and they show what tolerance really means. I'm telling you, it's love with great hypocrisy. Abhor that which is evil, the scripture says here. Abhor that which is evil. This is part of true love, God style, okay? It's impossible to love God. It's impossible to love that which is good and also love that which is evil. Everybody loves something and everybody hates something. It is absolutely impossible to have love without hate. Cling to that which is good. In love of the brothers, be tenderly affectionate to one another. Notice it says here specifically of the brothers. Not to the whole world here. It says of the brothers, okay? So the brothers here in this particular context means your fellow believers, those who are fellow followers of Yeshua. In love of the brothers, be tenderly affectionate to one another. In honor, preferring one another. Again, this is what real true love is all about. You prefer one another not preferring yourself, okay? In other words, you're not self-centered. It's not about what you feel. It's not about what you want. It's about helping others, especially if you claim to be a Christian, especially those who oppose you. Yes, those who oppose you. Personally, that is. Not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving yourself, serving serving another man, oh, no, no. serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, enduring in troubles, enduring in troubles, not crying like a little baby whenever troubles come around, okay? You are strong. You're not weak. Continuing steadfastly in prayer. Continuing steadfastly in prayer. This is something so many people do not do. They don't really pray, okay? They may just say one little prayer here and there whenever trouble arises or for somebody else, you know, once in a blue moon. But this is continuing steadfastly in prayer, always having an attitude of prayer, always looking unto God. And you know, prayer is a two-way street. You got to receive from God as well as pray to God. How do you receive from God? Right here, reading the scriptures. You read the scriptures frequently. Continuing to the needs of the saints. Needs of the saints. Not just anybody, but of the saints here in this context. Given to hospitality. Bless those. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and don't curse. I mean, what comes to mind here is a lot of these people who are just consumed, just steeped in immorality. And you come against the immorality, you come against the lifestyle. Boy, I'm telling you, they will curse up a storm. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Don't set your mind on high things. Don't set your mind on high things. But associate with the humble. In other words, don't be afraid to come down. 
Don't be afraid to come down and speak lowly. I'm talking about lay aside. I'm talking about throw down all pride and come into humility, okay? True humility. Don't be wise in your own conceits. Repay no one evil for evil. Respect what is honorable in the sight of all men. It says respect what is honorable here. If it is possible, as much as it is up to you, be at peace with all men. And the reason why Paul says this here is because, you know, right from the very beginning, you know, all the prophets got so persecuted. Jesus himself got killed, okay? And all of his apostles, except one, got killed, okay? So it's not possible all the time to be at peace with all men, but as much as possible. Don't seek revenge yourselves, beloved, but give place to God's wrath. And that is part of being humble. That's part of humility. That's part of putting down your pride the way God says. You know what? The scripture says over and over again, God opposes the proud. And you know that word opposes in the original manuscripts means literally that God sets himself up against that person in battle array. God is fighting against the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. For those of you who live in democratic countries, when you vote, vote for the humble. Vote for the one who stands for God's righteousness. Don't vote for the proud, smooth talker. Don't seek revenge yourselves, beloved, but give place to God's wrath. In other words, just step aside and let God be God here, okay? Don't let your pride get in the way. For it is written, Vengeance belongs to me. I will repay, says the Lord. And that's found in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 35. Therefore, quote, If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in doing so, you will heap coals of fire on his head. And that is found in Proverbs chapter 25, verses 21 to 22. Don't be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. So let every word of my mouth in this session sink deeply in your hearts. And yes, when someone offends you, don't be a hypocrite in all of your unconditional love. And love is love and tolerance because you know what? I have found those who preach unconditional love and unconditional acceptance and tolerance are the first ones to block you, to unfriend you, to turn their backs on you, to ignore you, to cast you out of their fellowship. So seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.